Hello everyone and welcome to Supermarket Simulator where we still have a box stuck on the fire escape because that's just how it's always going to be. Um, so I have a bit of an announcement to make. As you may or may not have noticed, I am definitely losing steam in this game. I think there definitely needs to be a bit more balancing because making a profit it's just not happening and then also the restockers they need to be faster like we i it, it's just impossible to keep up with all the items in the store and then we also have even more licenses to buy and i don't think i'm gonna do that i really don't think i'm gonna do that i i cannot keep up with um with making a profit at all it's costing an arm and a leg to restock every day and then it also takes like two hours to fully restock the store before each day and it is getting completely out of hand so unfortunately that means that this is going to be the final episode until updates come out and some balancing happens or something along those lines and then we can start over with a brand new fresh series. So, in order to honor our last day in this wonderful game, the game that I started my channel with, we're gonna do something crazy. So, Mad Eason, and I really hope that I am saying your name correctly, please let me know in the comments below, had suggested that I increase the price to $100 and see if anybody buys anything. So that is exactly what we are going to do. So I'm going to go through the store and I'm going to change the price on every single item to a hundred bucks. And yeah, then we'll run through the day and we'll see what happens. And I'll see you guys in just a second. And for the very last time, I am helping the restockers restock all of the shelves. I've just finished changing all of the prices and I'm going to go through and help them uh, re reorganize, restock everything that, um, that, they, that is missing from the shelf. And then I think we're gonna be ready to open the store because I'm, I'm not restocking anything. I'm not buying anymore. I'm not, I'm not worried about it. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Okay, so I think that was it for that beer. Now it's time to move on to the other ones. And I'm gonna continue doing this for probably quite a while. The guys have finished restocking and are hanging out in their usual spot now. Because it's our last day here, we're going to fire one of our cashiers. We'll fire uh, Bryce. Thank you so much, Bryce. You've been wonderful. Um, we're going to open the store, and I'm going to go back to checking out the customers. Because I'm quite curious to see how many items are bought and how much money we're going to be making. And I really wanted to be a little bit more involved. So here we go. We are open and now we have to wait about an hour for people to show up. Oh, oh no, no we don't. Okay, we've got our first customer. Hello, sir. Yes, we have uh, recently marked up all of our prices. Are you going to complain? No, you're gonna buy my $100 Mimolette cheese. <gasps> did I not change the price on the Mimolette? <gasps> I did not change the price on the Mimolette. Oh my gosh, okay. Too expensive. Yep, that's fine. Everything is very expensive in here. Oh boy. Oh, we've got all kinds of people coming in now. Okay, we're gonna go into the corner of hiding. And no one is gonna buy anything. Oh boy, except for the guy with the one thing of Mimolette cheese. Yeah, no one ha Oh wait, they have bags. Did I miss? Did I miss a product? I sure did. I missed the spaghetti. All right. This has to go back up to 100. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, and I didn't change the price of the salt either. Okay, so we're going to change that. And I there's a guarantee I missed 
at least several things. Oh, and I have a customer. Hello. Oh, you got the spaghetti. And you gave me cash? Okay. All right. So two and then uh, 50, 75, 80. Oh, it's so weird that it's backwards. I don't like this register. Switch with me. Switch with me, Brent. Or uh, Brandon. Okay, yeah, I don't think anyone is going to buy anything at all. I think it's all too expensive. So maybe what I should do is go in and change all the prices again. But I really don't want to. I was really looking forward to this. I was really looking forward to making a whole bunch of money because I have $100 items. Oh, boy. Oh, I'm losing store points for sure. Oh, boy. Yeah, everyone's crying about it. Oh, boy. Okay, I may have made mistakes. Has anyone bought anything? At all? Besides the things that I missed the prices on? I don't think... I don't think they... I don't think they are. Yeah, I really don't think that they are. Uh-oh. Oh, wait, he's got something. <gasps> Did I miss something down here? No, that looks all good. Uh, that also looks good. And that all looks good. Okay. Okay, so maybe I did make a hundred bucks. <laughs> we'll see at the end of the day report, I am sure. But yeah, I don't think anyone is actually buying anything now. Huh. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, it's a disaster. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah. This might have been a really, really bad idea. Alright, guys. I'm just going to speed through this. I'll see you in a second.
And there goes our last customer. We sold pretty much nothing except for the things that I messed up the price on. So let's go ahead and end our day. 629 products were found expensive. We had 105 customers. We lost 43 store points. We made $133, but then we ended up losing because of bills and whatnot. And we're basically back to where we started the day off. Okay, so that experiment went horribly, horribly, horribly wrong, but at least these guys didn't have to work. <laughs> all right, so I think what I might do is actually go in and change all of my prices because as you can see, the auto price updater changed everything back. And I think I'm gonna, I don't know, I might change everything to five bucks and see what happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we're going to do. We're going to change everything to five bucks and we'll see what happens. I'll see you guys in just a second. Okay. I gave everything a bit of an eat increase. Um, this one I went a little bit haywire with, but it's totally fine. And uh, yeah, so we're going to see how this goes. I mean, it's not a hundred bucks. Oh wait, that one is. Why is that one a hundred dollars? Uh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're just going to open the store and see what happens. Huh. And hide in our little hidey corner and wait for all of our customers to show up. And then I think we're going to speed through this day and then see where we're at. And with that, there goes our last customer. So, <laughs> 663 products found expensive, 107 customers. We did earn 13 points, so that's good. We also earned a little bit of money, which, you know, 
It's okay, but yeah, we're we're not doing great. So we're gonna change the prices one last time. Okay, everything is set to ten percent higher than the um, the market price. So we're gonna go ahead and open because we don't have to wait for things to be restocked, and we're gonna see how this day goes. Yeah, I'm going to preemptively turn the lights on so that I don't have to worry about that later. And, uh, yeah, here comes our first customer. And there goes our last customer. So let's see how we did. I saw a whole bunch of people buying stuff. 35 products found expensive, 107 customers. We made 11,000 bucks. 11,000 bucks. That's awesome, except that it's going to cost me just as much to restock everything. Oh boy. All right, guys, I know it's a bit of a short and a very weird episode. We're a little bit all over the place, but I am truly, truly going to miss this game. I love this game so much, and I'm so looking forward to even more updates, and I know the developer is working his butt off to keep this game updated and to come out with new new content and to fix the bugs and i give him all the props in the world because if it wasn't for him i don't think i would have made my channel i don't think i would have started youtube and all the credit goes to the developer of this wonderful wacky game and i really hope that you guys enjoyed and i'm very much looking forward to getting back into this when some more updates come out so if you did have a good time while you watched all the craziness please hit the like button and if you haven't already consider subscribing as well and until next time guys i'll see all of you later.